Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Caliber Home Loans. Welcome to another edition of Master of the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highway, and this is created exclusively for Mortgage News Network. Boy, we got the jobs report last week, and it came in pretty much right on target. 215,000 jobs created, right in line with expectations, and the unemployment rate did tick up. Now, hourly earnings, that's an important one because it's an inflation indicator. It was up three-tenths of a percent month over month, but year over year, wages have gone up on average 2.3%. What does the average person earn in an hourly basis? $25.43. So all these numbers came in, and mortgage bonds really didn't respond either very negatively or very positively, kind of riding the flat line. Stocks initially uh, down a little bit on the news, and that's what's important here, is that these numbers now, now that we've gotten past the Fed, now that we've gotten past the big jobs report, the data that's out there has to prompt the Fed to start thinking about, you know, we've got really solid job gains, inflation's on the way up. Uh, it's going to, they're not going to hike during this next meeting here in April, but we are going to more than likely see the Fed be pressured towards thinking about a hike in June. We know stocks probably won't like that very much. In fact, when we look at the stock market, the stock market seems pretty toppy here and could be vulnerable for a move lower maybe this week. Uh, we'll see if that begins and that could push us into, that could push some cash into the bond market and cause interest rates to decline. Look, we've been saying that you know, we think interest rates should start to improve. They have started to improve. That 10-year Treasury's come down from nearly 2% to now under 180. So. We've seen almost a 25 basis point gain in interest rates, so that's been right on the money. But we still think there's room to the downside for interest rates. Uh, I strongly believe that the, the bond market now is in a pretty good position. And when you compare where interest rates are across the world, across the globe, and you take a look at negative interest rates in Europe, negative interest rates in Asia, the United States with you know 1.77 or so on the 10-year Treasury, looking like a pretty good deal as far as where you could put your money. So that influx of capital into uh, U.S. treasuries from foreign sources and U.S. bonds, like mortgage bonds, could help to continue to support uh, prices and pressure interest rates even lower still. Now, stock market does finally start to give back some of its gains. The, the best gains, the best comeback that we've seen in a long time for, that, for the last month, the month of March, um, the stock market really just due for a breather right now. And if it does take a breather, well, then you probably will see mortgage bonds improve rather dramatically. So for now, the outlook should be optimistic for interest rates, optimistic for housing. Looks like we will see a continuation of this pattern where uh, interest rates drift a little bit lower like we've been seeing. Uh, let's look for that next stop around 160 on the 10-year treasury. In that range, we should break below 170. We'll keep an eye on it for you. And you know what, if you wanna watch this on a daily basis, get all the news that's out there in a way that you can teach your customers, teach your referral sources, get it out to your customers in uh, the ways that you can share data with them as well. Uh, just sign up for MBS Highway. It's free, mbshighway.com for a two week period. And if you'd like to become a member, it's very affordable. You're in a big money business, you're in a lot of money per transaction. Why not be the best you can be? Help your clients be a great resource for them and close more of the opportunities you're given. Talk to you next week, bye-bye. Your reputation with your referring business partners depends largely on the lenders you recommend. This is why you'll want to choose a partner who shares your commitment to customer service. At Caliber Home Loans, our products make us different and our people make us great. A leading product innovator. In addition to our core conventional, government, and jumbo loans, we've created our own non-agency portfolio lending products. These enable you to assist creditworthy clients who can demonstrate the ability to repay. To learn more, visit us online at CaliberWholesale.com. This is Mortgage News Network.